Cypress models. In this video, we will take a closer look at the different models Cypress has to offer. We are not here to advise you on which model or settings are best for you, only to make you aware of what the different settings are meant to be used for so you can make educated choices. If you need further clarification, speak with your local SNTA or get in touch with AirTech directly. We will leave a link to their contact info and website in the description below. AADs come in various models because skydiving has a large variety of disciplines. Because of this, it is important for jumpers to understand the differences between the models and what parameters they are set for. The models and their parameters that we are about to discuss have been chosen to cover the needs of the vast majority of skydivers and also not to restrict them during common skydiving operations. Cypress 2 is available in six models to the general public. Expert, Speed, Student, Tandem, Wingsuit, and Changeable. We will discuss the Changeable or C-Mode version in a separate video. Let's take a closer look at the different models to understand what their intended uses are. The Expert Cypress can be recognized by the red button on the control unit. It activates the release unit when it detects a rate of descent higher than approximately 78 miles per hour at an altitude of approximately 750 feet above ground level. In the event of a cutaway, Cypress will operate down to approximately 130 feet above ground level. Below approximately 130 feet AGL opening is no longer useful. For this reason, Cypress ceases operation below approximately 130 feet AGL. If you are an aggressive canopy pilot and exceed the vertical speed of 78 miles per hour in an altitude below 1,000 feet, then an expert Cypress is designed to cut the reserve closing loop. Given that 78 miles per hour is roughly 70% of freefall speed, you may want to consider using a speed Cypress to avoid a two out scenario. The Speed Cypress can be recognized by the red button with the white imprint Speed on the control unit. It will activate the release unit when it detects a rate of descent higher than approximately 102 miles per hour at an altitude below approximately 750 feet AGL. Unlike the Expert Cypress, the Speed Cypress ceases operation below approximately 330 feet above ground level. The Speed Cypress is designed to allow high performance canopy piloting. The high activation speed plus the feature that the unit ceases operation below 330 feet are tailored for this discipline. The Speed Cypress is designed to activate reliably in all regular freefall situations when no canopy is out. The Student Cypress can be recognized by the yellow button with the imprint Student on the control unit. It activates the release unit when it detects a rate of descent higher than approximately 29 miles per hour. The activation altitude is split. In the case of rate of descent being approximately that of freefall, the opening altitude is at approximately 750 feet, the same as with expert cypress. However, should the rate of descent be lower than that of freefall, but still above the limit of 29 miles per hour, then a student cypress activates the release unit when the altitude falls below approximately 1,000 feet AGL. This is designed for a partially opened canopy or after a cutaway in mind. The student will then have more time to prepare for landing. If under an open canopy, between approximately 2,700 feet and approximately 1,000 feet, the vertical speed is between approximately 7 miles per hour and approximately 30 miles per hour for more than 10 seconds, then the unit switches activation speed for approximately 30 miles per hour to approximately 45 miles per hour. This should reduce a possible activation under an open canopy the student cypress ceases operation below approximately 130 feet AGL. Unlike the expert and tandem models, AirTech recommends that the student cypress be switched off above 1,500 feet AGL in the aircraft prior to descent if the jump is aborted and the student has to land with the plane. This is because the aircraft's vertical speed can exceed the unit's activation speed. Opinion incoming. Every drop zone in school will have its own policy with respect to this topic. We recommend leaving the unit switched on and to inform the pilot to descend less than 1,500 feet per minute below 1,500 feet AGL. Make sure to close open doors, buckle your seatbelt, and secure equipment. Though turning off the Cypress is a preventative measure, there always exists a slim chance a student may have to exit for safety reasons during a descent. This could include an aircraft fire, mid-air collision, or other emergencies. In such an event, make sure to communicate with your jump master or pilot for further instructions. A friendly reminder to you students out there, 
it is possible to exceed a vertical speed of 29 miles per hour under a fully inflated canopy. To avoid possible injury or death, practice safe canopy piloting habits. Avoid spiraling or any maneuver that could put you at risk of having a two-out scenario. The tandem cypress can be recognized by the blue button with the imprint tandem on the control unit. It activates the release unit when it detects a rate of descent higher than approximately 78 miles per hour at an altitude of approximately 1,900 feet AGL. Like the expert Cypress, the Tandem Cypress ceases operation below approximately 130 feet AGL. The Wingsuit Cypress, or WSC for short, can be recognized by the red button with the white Wingsuit logo imprint on the control unit. As long as the WSC works in Wingsuit status, it activates the release unit at a vertical speed higher than approximately 45 miles per hour at an altitude of 750 feet AGL and down to 130 feet. If between the altitude of 6,500 feet and 1,500 feet AGL, the WSC descends with less than approximately 19 miles per hour, but more than 5.6 miles per hour for more than 10 seconds, then the WSC changes to canopy status with different activation criteria. This duration can be altered by the user. For more on that, reference the user manual. Thereafter, it will activate the release unit in approximately 750 feet and down to 130 feet above ground level if the vertical speed is higher than 78 miles per hour. This is the expert mode and the WSC default setting. In the case that the WSC has been set to use the speed mode instead of the expert mode, then it will activate the release unit at an altitude of 750 feet and down to 330 feet above ground level. If the vertical speed is higher than approximately 102 miles per hour. Now that you have a better understanding of how to recognize the various models and know what their intended uses are, we hope you can make educated decisions when it comes to your future jumping needs and purchases. Know that if you already have a Cypress, a conversion between the various models is possible. This procedure has to be performed by the manufacturer or the service center. This includes new settings, a new color corresponding button, a new label, and a complete functional test. After a model change, the settings of the chosen model will be reset to the standard settings of that model. Please take all the facts in this video into consideration before making a choice and talk them over with a qualified professional. For some activities, the Speed Cypress may not be suitable. For instance, already, the Expert Cypress might not activate during a wingsuit jump because the vertical speed can be too low, and there is even less chance that a Speed Cypress will activate. Speed Cypress should activate under an open main if the vertical speed is pushed above 46 meters per second near or below the activation altitude. In case you exceed this vertical speed, then you may want to consider switching off your speed cypress. You can collect data of your speeds using a GPS tracker, such as a FlySight. Of course, we always encourage people to seek out professional coaching in order to best interpret the data they have collected. Hint, hint. If you are a multidisciplinary jumper like us, you may want to consider taking a look at the video where we discussed the C-Mode Cypress. This model has an added feature for the user to change the AED settings in the field.